Hello from the Big South Network studio, I'm Mark Bryant. This is our preview series for the 2022-23 basketball season in the Big South. Very happy now to be joined by Tim Kraft, head coach of the Running Bulldogs, the men's team for Gardner-Webb University. Coach, thanks for being here. Great to be here, Mark. Let's, let's jump right into it. First, by quick look back at last year. Always in the mix each season. You pick up another Power 5 win last year. Those kinds of things, is that your level of expectation or where do you, where does the team go and what more do you want to see this year? Well, hopefully uh, we, we take things a step further than we did last year. You know, I think that's our goal and, and you know, our expectation as a team really every season is just become the best team that we can become. You know, maximize our, our ability. And that's our goal every season. Last year I thought we had a, a you know, a re like you said, a really good team. and. and but certainly when we get to that conference tournament, the goal is to make it to Sunday and um, you know, compete for that championship uh, on Sunday and we fell a little bit short of that. So uh, we have high expectations for this group. We're really excited about our roster. Um, the preseason practices have been really, really good. And so you know, we're excited to hopefully have another team that can compete for a championship. Well, like you said, you're already at work for this year. So what are those practices like? What have you been emphasizing? Or is there anything you're retooling? Well, we're just trying to, to build our, our fundamentals of the way that we play on offense and defense, um, you know, trying to, to build our conditioning level. Uh, you know, we have eight returning players, so we do have some really nice continuity on our roster. But we also have five transfers who, who are very experienced in terms of playing college basketball, but just need to learn the way that we play and, and the expectations we have and how we do things. And all that's been going very well, but um, you know, it's a daily process that you're just trying to, you know, I think more than anything, trying to uh, instill a mentality that, hey, every single uh, time that we're together as a team, whether it's in the locker room, watching film, or on the court, that, that we are completely in the moment to try to you know, get everything that we can you know, out of that uh, time together. And I think if we can be able to do that throughout the course of the whole season, you know, we're gonna get better every day and we're gonna have a team that has a chance to compete for a championship. You mentioned the strength of returning players. Among them, key returnees, Kareem Reed, Anthony Selden, Ludovic Dufial. Um, what are your expectations for that group in particular? Yeah, um, you know, those three guys are seniors. We also have another senior, Sammy Atoto. So four guys that have been in our program for four years. In Ludovic's case, his, his, this is his fifth year. So we have really high expectations for that group. It starts with leadership, and they've been doing a great job of that uh, since the summer. So it starts with leadership and, and just uh, continuing to, to emphasize the way that we want to do things every day in our culture and those guys are completely bought into that and it's excited just it's exciting to be with them you know in their senior year and coaching them in their senior year you know Kareem Reed has been a really good player in this league um, and we're expecting him to, to take a jump uh, he's had a great preseason I think he's got an improved uh, confidence scoring the ball and shooting free throws and those type of things and I think Anthony Selden is a guy that's also ready to to take a jump in his game. He averaged about eight points a game last year, about five rebounds. And, you know, I, I think he can improve as a scorer and as a, a threat on the offensive end. But I think he also is, is a elite defender. And he's a guy that can really defend a lot of different actions on the floor. He's super athletic, one of our strongest players. Now he has uh, the experience of playing in our system now for three years. And then Ludovic Dufial, uh, just brings a, a lot of stuff to our program. I mean, he's kind of a calming presence out there. Um, you know, he has a great feel and understanding of how to play the game on both ends. You know, six, eight and long, can guard uh, five positions on the floor. I think he's one of the elite defenders in our league. And he's really improved on the offensive end um, here in the off season. So, uh, you know, those, you know, and then Sammy Atoto has been, he's been hurt for us a lot, but he's, uh, he's rehabbed. He's strong, he's out there every day, he's healthy. Uh, we're excited about him also contributing to our team. So, you know, those four guys mean a lot to our program. They've, they've played a lot of games, helped us, you know, have been a part of a lot of wins, and, you know, we're excited to, to send them off uh, with a great senior year. Well, you know roughly what to expect from conference play uh, this year, and always tough, but what have, what have the Running Bulldogs got in the out-of-conference slate this year, particularly who might we see coming to Boiling Springs? Well, I wish we had a few more teams coming to Bowling <laughs> Springs. You know, we don't have a lot of home games. I wish we had a couple more home games. 
but it's a really challenging and exciting schedule, which is you know what our goal is every year, challenge our team, um, present some great opportunities for us to grow and get better um, in the months of November and December. And uh, this year we open up at Colorado State. You know, they were a sixth seed in the NCAA tournament. Then we go to Stephen F. Austin. They were WAC Conference regular season champions last year. And then we play University of North Carolina, uh, who's, you know, most people's preseason number one. So those three will get us started. Um, and it'll be a, you know, a challenging road, but an exciting road. Great op three great opportunities. We got three Southern Conference opponents uh, in Wofford and Western Carolina. And then one of our home games is Chattanooga, who was, you know, SoCon champs last season. Um, so, um, you know, it, it's, it's a very challenging schedule, but uh, one with great opportunity and in, in, uh, in terms of uh, our, our team being able to really show who they are and, and then learn and get better through the process. Coach Kraft, looking forward to seeing that in action. Best of luck to you and to all the running Bulldogs this year. And we thank you for watching another of our previews for the 2022-23 basketball season in the Big South.